Jacob, uh, ultimately a disappointing afternoon for you. Um, yeah, I think so. I think once Cole scores that unbelievable goal, I think there was a real chance for us to get something from the game. Um, I'm not sure if it was a penalty or not. I think he, he's given it very quickly. Um, but we, we never seem to have luck with the referees in this league anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a disappointing result. But I think come the start of the week, if you'd have said we get two wins um, out of those three games, I think we'd have, we'd have snatched a hand off probably. Um, so we've got to just stay positive, go into Charlton and Portsmouth at home. And any home game for us is massive because of the crowd there, the support we get. And Charlton away, it'd be similar to this probably. Um, and we've just got to stay positive. It's particularly disappointing, isn't it? When you got back on level terms, it was such a great goal by Cole Stockton. And then within two minutes, uh, the penalties awarded. And, and that was a killer blow, wasn't it? Because 1-1, one, one, you know, for a few minutes, the game stays level. You'd have fancied your chances of going on and winning, really. Yeah, um, I think we'd have had a great chance at winning or at least taking something from the game because they didn't create many chances. They had the ball around our box a lot, but they didn't create any clear-cut ones. Um, so the penalty is disappointing, obviously. I think the, uh, the referee give it very quick, like I said, but we've just got to go again and um, just stay positive and, and keep backing each other and keep going. What was the uh, reaction in the dressing room to the penalty? Did, did any of the lads sort of give an opinion about it? Did they feel that it was extremely harsh? Um, I, think, I think it was harsh. Personally, I think Greg feels he, d he didn't touch him. Um, I think the ball's in, in Trevor's hands anyway. I think he's, he's thrown himself to the floor, really, hoping for one. And the refs, refs bought it, basically. So it's one of those. I think when we come away from home, we're always quite unlucky. Um, mine against Shrewsbury, I don't think was a penalty either. Um, and stuff like that away from home. It's always going to happen. Um, and we've got to work on not getting in those positions where we're turning in the box or, or defending our box so deep. I think maybe we have to keep a higher line. In terms of Cole Stockton's goal, have you seen many better volleys than that yourself? I haven't, no. It's one to add to his, his collection this season. Um, I was right behind it and it was, uh, was a very nice nice finish. But he's, he's got that in him on the volley, on the floor, whatever, however it comes into him. He's obviously a class striker with the amount of goals he's scored this season and um, hopefully he'll have a big part to play in the, in the running. You've already touched on the fact two back-to-back -back victories prior to today. You've put yourself back in the mix for, for survival this season. You're now level on points with, uh, with Fleetwood and uh, Gillingham. You're just out of the, uh, the bottom four. It really is nip and tuck and it's going to go all the way to the wire, isn't it? Yeah, it could well do. I think we've just got to focus on ourselves. Um, a week ago we were two points adrift, I think. So now we're, we're level with those teams and we've just got to believe in ourselves, believe in our ability. We're, we're a good side when we're on it. Today we created some good chances and there's some cleared off the line, some good blocks by them. So we've just got to believe in ourselves, go to Charlton away and be positive and, and get that result. And Portsmouth at home, like I said, is, is a massive game. And then we've got two games after that to go and get results. So we've just got to keep fighting. And Charlton, a team that have had inconsistency problems throughout the season. Yeah, um, it's been one of those seasons for them, I think. Um, but, but we have to focus on ourselves, like I said. And um, go in there, it would be a nice pitch for us to play on, for, our, for like Az and, and Philo to get on the ball. And it would probably suit us quite well, so we've just got to go there and be positive. Final, so af after the, the Charlton game, then you've got three teams who many people prior to the season taking place would have looked at as favourites uh, for promotion. Some really big games there. Does that play into your favour or does that make it even more tricky in a sense? I think every game in this league is tough. I think today Cambridge made it tough and they've, they've not got anything to play for at this stage in the season. Um, so I think any team can beat any team in this league. I think Tuesday night showed it against Oxford, which is probably the best footballing team we've played all year. Especially for me, I think their movement was great. But we went and beat them 2-1. Um, and there's no reason we can't go and beat MK Dons, which is a similar side. And then Sunderland at home last day of the season. Being at home last day is always going to be massive with that sort of support behind us. So we've just got to stay positive and, and uh, try and pick up these results. And just one final one, that confident that you're going to beat the drop this season, yeah? Yeah, I believe so. I think we've got a, a solid team. Like I said, we had a bad 
week before the international break, but we've regrouped and, and I think we're, we're really together at the moment. Even today we lost the game, but everyone's together and if, if everyone's together, we've got a good chance.